Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Reese and I am showing you an updated self care routine. It's going to be a day and night combined. First, I'd like to wake up and tune into Ariana Elizabeth. She is a black yogi instructor and she's just amazing. I have incorporated yoga for the past two months because things started aching and cracking more than usual. So it was time to start really paying attention to my health and my body. Definitely check out Ariana Elizabeth. She is so calming and it just is a great way to start off your day in a positive mood and being mindful. Once I'm done with my morning stretch, I like to go over to Chloe Ting and do a nice hard ab workout um chloe she be doing a thing a lot of people say she's repetitive but i love the repetitiveness i think being repetitive helps me and gives me motivation to like track my progress i be struggling girl but it's always good to exercise in the morning and get your brain and your body just ready to go for the day So once I'm done with my workout, I like to heat up some tea. Lemon ginger helps with gut health. I'm doing these vitamins, daily fiber to regulate my digestive system, elderberry for immune system, and magnesium, calcium, and zinc pills to help with my periods, um, bone health, and muscle health. So I'm trying to get, you know, healthy y'all. So take your vitamins every morning, you guys. I have been having an issue with bloating lately, so I basically focus on gut health. I am adding some collagen to my tea to help with skin, hair, and nails. You know, I gotta take care of it all, y'all. I'm trying to stay young forever. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just gonna add my little lemon ginger tea bag. Now we're gonna move on to meditation. What I like to do is open up my Bible and turn to a page of where I'm, what I'm feeling. So I'm using Inspire. It's a Bible on Amazon that I got. I really love this version. It's New Living Translation, so it's easier to understand the word. I have everything highlighted. It gives you room to write notes so you can refer back to it. I do wanna share a, a scripture with you about writing your goals down. I found it in Habit Habakkuk, oh my gosh, I think I butchered the name. Don't come for me, y'all. But it's in chapter 2, verse 2. It says, Then the Lord said to me, Write my answer plainly on tablets, so that the runner can carry the correct message to others. This vision is for the future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will be it will not be delayed so that's basically the scripture of the day i like to read a scripture meditate for about 10 minutes 10 minutes is a long time but taking time out just to meditate and focus your mind definitely improves your day every day i swear to it so once i'm finished meditating i do this about once a month or maybe twice but i open up a ca my calendar and just jot down things i need to finish i do weekly schedules and just basically organize my life it helps me not feel more feel overwhelmed because i sometimes stress myself out with things i need to do and writing things down help me Stay focused and on track and not feel super overwhelmed about the day, week, or month. Now it's time for the nighttime routine. This is something I like to do once a week. So light your candle. We had a hard day at work. It's time to relax and just enjoy the rest of our night. So I am actually showing you guys a black owned company named Kadara. They sell CBD gummies and let me tell you, 
eating this and the start of my self-care routine helps relax my body and have an amazing good night's sleep definitely use my code if you're interested the gummies are amazing so we are prepping our skin i got my steamer it's upgraded from the clothes steamer y'all if you've been an og and see me struggle so i'm using my CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser normal to dry skin this cleanser is okay me and my boyfriend share it so it's just super basic it's nothing new um, use any cleanser that seems to work best for your skin cleansers in my opinion don't really matter um, as long as it just removes excess dirt and makeup So while that is just seeping in my skin, I like to get a sugar scrub. I don't have a lip scrub, so I just use a regular sugar scrub and put that all over my lips just to exfoliate my lips and remove any dead skin. I like my lips very plump and soft. So once you're finished washing your face off, use a paper towel to dry off any excess water. Today I'm using the Ordinary AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution. This is very, very strong and rough on the skin. So if you have sensitive skin, please don't try this. Consult with your dermatologist, y'all. Um, this skin, this product actually works really good on me. There's mixed reviews with the Ordinary product. So use at your own risk you guys um, this actually helps exfoliate my skin so I don't use any harsh scrubs it does sting at first but it definitely calms down after the next minute and that's basically it we're gonna move on to shaving so these bad babies have not been shaved for a while I'm using my magic cream shave I did a whole review on the powder. I did switch over to the cream and the cream works wonders. Oh my goodness. All you gotta do is put it on the skin and let it sit for seven minutes and girl, smooth like butter. So basically I just get a brush and smooth that all in there and just wait seven minutes with the mask as well. And then that's basically it. I'm gonna see you after the shower y'all. Now that we're out the shower, I'm getting my Dove Body Butter. Girl, this body cream is bomb, smells bomb, especially mixed with some baby oil. Mmm, girl, skin will be smooth as heck. So I put that all throughout my body and just focus on massaging myself, you know, self-care, self-love. Your body needs it. So now it's time to finish my skincare routine. Right now I'm using a toner. It's by Hemphreeze Alcohol Free Toner with Aloe Vera. Um, this toner actually is pretty good. It removes any excess makeup and dirt that I might have missed while washing my face in the shower. I get a cotton swab or a pad and just put that all throughout my face and clean it up. I am using a bio essence oil and massage my face make sure you massage your face you guys i showed you two different ones but i'm using bio essence it's like a tea tree oil it helps remove dark spots which it kind of doesn't so don't get this expensive product rose hip oil that i showed you right there helps a lot it works kind of better but i'm just trying to you know finish my products out y'all but take some time use the oil that you love and just massage your face get the blood flowing just meditate listen to some good music you guys and just take time out to just take care of your skin it's been a rough rough week and you deserve self-care and now i'm showing you guys neutrogena visibly even daily moisturizer with 30 SPF 30. This moisturizer is so bomb. Makes my skin glow and moisturize the whole entire day. Even though this is for the nighttime, I do day and night with this moisturizer. So that is basically it. Skin is glowing, body glowing. I feel so good. Now it's time to put on our rose all day slippers, head downstairs, and let's get dinner started. 
let's crack open a bottle of wine my favorite right now is josh wine anything josh i am obsessed it's a red blend that i'm drinking right now so i'm just prepping these lettuce wrap tacos if you're interested in this recipe it's alive on my igtv on instagram um these tacos are amazing you guys oh my goodness i tore these tacos up i was super shook how good they taste and they're way healthier than regular tacos so it's time to unwind put on a nice fun movie eat anything that you decided to cook for that night and just enjoy the rest of the night relax kick your feet up it's your time to just chill um that is basically it you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos i truly truly appreciate the support and that's basically it y'all have a blessed mindful day and night you guys bye you always posting up pictures trying to look like you're winning i'm writing rhymes in the kitchen soaking in moments we live in yeah you got the nerve to be on